just arrived to Dalmonsey Hotel near Spital of Glenshee and starting my walk. Short overnight adventure, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. It is very windy, so it's possible that I will reconsider camping on the top and, and we'll go down to the lock. All right, I see small problem. Well, after checking the map, it seems that I don't need to cross the stream. I'll go this way. Apparently, Choo Choo Train went this way in the past. Look at that. It looks like soon I'll start to gain some elevation. Till now it was easy cruising. And in front of me, ruins of Glen Loxy Lodge. I guess it's been demolished at the same time as the railway. So I'm following this old railway track and it's interesting that it existed in such a place. There had to be a community to justify existence of, of this railway uh, in the past. Because otherwise, well, what's the purpose? the launch started the climb that's my home for the night not too bad good morning I'm just packing tent and I'm ready to go. It's a chilly morning, just 4 degrees, and it's beginning of September, so quite cold, but I had good night's sleep and ready to go. Speak to you later. It's starting to look nice. I have one regret. I didn't take gloves and this is huge mistake. It's very cold. Not much left to the summit. And the views from here. Pretty cool. And today will be a great day. There's forecast for really sunny day. So I hope for more such views. No views here. But I hope for the next uh, summits that the view will be a um, little bit better. Because now I really can see nothing. It has to be beautiful here when the weather is good. This is the lake I'll visit today, afternoon, hopefully. After, after I'll do all this round all the way on the top and back to the lake. Change of plans. It seems that I'll have breakfast by the lake. Unfortunately, the bog I supposed to cross, uh, well, was too deep. I didn't want to risk and uh, 
I prefer to add another mile to my hike and be safe. So this is my view from the place when I decided to have a breakfast. It's sunny but very windy. It's time to find one geocache. about two kilometers straight ahead and at about 200 meters up so this is summit of the next Monroe and then So I just want to say I love my family and if you want to hear from me I must be lying somewhere there. Thanks for watching. Almost there. That's the hill and lake I came from and hundred meters to another trick point. This is the hill, my target, but I see this drop. I won't lie if, if I say it's 45 degrees, even more. Crazy. The hill behind me was a uh, hard work, but the one I have to climb now is taller and spotless. And I have to walk through terrain like that. So it will be interesting. So I'm climbing this hill, almost dying. But When you stop, all you can hear is just a stream and nothing else. It took me longer than expected, but what a view. Okay, that's another summit. Uh, unfortunately, although it costed me much more work than two previous Monroes, this one it's not a Monroe.
<clears throat> okay, that's me done with the heels for today. Now I have to go around the lake, uh, reach the waterfalls and then follow the path to the car park. So it should take me another two hours unless I get some difficulties so we'll see I'm at waterfalls again short break and the last stretch, nine kilometers. Two minutes, I'm exhausted, and I'm looking forward to be back in a car. Oh, I just noticed another hill walker coming this way. Right, time for me to go. So I continue to walk uh, along this stream. Now it's fairly, fairly easy walking. Um, but the initial part of this, of this path was uh, was much more difficult and dangerous. Uh, uh, some parts required even scrambling. Scrambling down, it's never uh, fun. So, but but now it's uh, it, it flattened and and it's fairly easy walking. I hope it will look like that uh, until the car park. Still about seven kilometers to go, so I estimate about two hours. Look at that beauty. <clears throat> I'm almost at car park now. It's time to say thank you for coming with me and see you next time. <laughs>